Like most companies, customers begin in Salesforce, and we track our opportunities and other sales processes there. But once a deal is done, we also need other things to happen, like getting this customer into our accounting and shipping systems, which for many companies live outside of Salesforce. In this demo org, we've got a custom status field on the account object. We'll notify external systems about this change using a platform event. They're defined just like custom objects with fields to capture any data. For example, let's add the Salesforce account ID to our event. And this process will watch for those changes. And if the status on an account changes from sales to contracted, it's going to fire the platform event. We'll populate that new account ID, save, and activate the new version. What does the event look like? I'm going to listen for the event from a local app running in my terminal. When we go back to the account, we'll save our status change, and we'll see what's inside that event. Because events are just messages dropped onto the bus, anyone who needs to subscribe to these messages can listen for them. If your external system runs custom code, it can subscribe to and act on the event data. But for many systems, you either can't or don't want to modify them, so we'll use a middleware tool to do that. I'll be using MuleSoft as an example. First, we choose what initiates this integration. All of these pre-built connectors make that easy. We'll choose the Salesforce connector, and then select Subscribe Topic Listener, which can listen for platform events or change data capture events or streaming topics. Then we just have to choose a target where we want to make the update. Again, you can connect to all kinds of things. Let's say we want to set up the customer in SAP. So we'll pick that connector, and then we'll invoke one of its actions. MuleSoft handles configuration for how to authenticate to our org, and we can reuse that configuration in all of our actions. We do need to tell it which event we want it to listen for. I've created a data type for our platform event so that it's easy to handle the mappings and see what the data structure is. And just like we've done for Salesforce, we can set up our SAP instance authentication. I'm not connected to an actual SAP instance, so I'm just going to skip this part. If we needed a lot more information and it was spread across a lot of objects, rather than just passing the fields inside the platform event, we could send only the account ID and have Mule query anything else that we need from Salesforce. It uses the same connector and authentication and lets us write the query we need. And after our SAP invocation, we could take the resulting account number and write it back to Salesforce using an update. Because our platform event contained the account ID, we can create the payload that's needed to update the right record. Mule is connecting to the Salesforce org to see which objects are available there. And that's how platform events and MuleSoft can help you keep external systems synchronized with Salesforce.